My definition of the word uh, insanity is a tension stuck in the past. Now I know that most people think that uh, the definition of the word insanity is uh, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. If you will not be just parroting what you heard and be impressed by the fact that someone told you a story that this is what Albert Einstein said, you'll see that this is actually the definition of tenacity. Tenacity means doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. It's actually a very good thing. Anything that have ever been successful has been successful because someone did the same thing over and over again and expect a different result and eventually he did get a different result. Insanity, on the other hand, is attention stuck in the past. Now, when your attention is stuck in the past, your intention is to handle the past. You see, when you act based on what happened in the past, your intention is to fix the past, but the past is gone. You cannot fix the past. You understand? So if you actually want any kind of improvement, your attention should be directed towards a specific defined result. Only then would you go forward. Otherwise, you will go backward. When you look at the past, when your attention is stuck in the past, you're cuckoo because your body goes forward, but you look backward and you will have an accident. Your life will look like a car wreck. You want to improve. You have to wake up and decide, I'm going to look forward, define a specific target in the future, ignore the past and decide, what do I need to do in order to get to that target? Now, most people tell me when I tell them that is, well, but I feel that and I, I don't care about feeling. I know it sounds brutal, but I am brutal when it comes to results, when it comes to your well-being, when I come to your success. You have to be brutal. The, your feeling about uh, what's going on is irrelevant. You should do what's needed to be done, not what you feel you should do. Because according to what you feel you should do, probably you want to sit there, watch Netflix all day long and, and eat a lot of chips. That will not bring you a result. You need to do what needs to be done, not what you feel. So you will see that you can engage in one of two kind of thoughts. One thought says, let me look at the past and I will act according to the past. And I will be the effect of the past. I will be the slave. I will be the puppet of the past. Or you can decide, I have a specific target and everything will listen to me, everything will obey me. I will not obey the past, everything will obey me and we will go forward. I will not take my eyes off the target and regardless of what I feel, regardless of what I want, regardless of anything, I will do what's needed, not what's comfortable. And I promise you, you will get the life that you want. Mir Ezra, a piece of truth for you.